Hi everyone! Today my friends and I would like to tell you a story about an amazing mother. Let's listen to the story. The widow had to work to bring up her little son alone. This was after her husband's early death. She and her son lived in a wooden house. It was a small house with only one bedroom and a kitchen. Maria wanted Sam to study hard to get good results, so she would not let Sam help her do any household chores or wash his own clothes. The years passed by. Sam sat for his SPM examination and passed with flying colors. His mother was very happy. She went around telling her friends, my son will be leaving for the cities to study in a college. He will become a manager one day. I will move to live with him in the city. Then, my struggle is worth it. So, Mariam continued to work hard to send money to Sam who was studying a business degree. For Mariam, it was a tough life. Meanwhile, Sam kept on phoning home to ask for more money. Mariam even had to borrow from her neighbors and friends to send her side the money. It's been three years and Sam stopped calling home. He did not even let his mother know where he was. When she found the faculty, they told her that he had graduated and left for a job. However, they could not help her more. Mariam was baffled. Where was Sam? She was so sure he would come back and fetch her to the city. So, she started to pack some of her bags and boxes. Three months later, there was still no news of call from Sam. One day, Mariam's niece, Kate, came to talk to her about Sam. She told her aunt, Auntie, a friend of mine met Sam in the bank. He is the branch manager. This is his address. Early in the morning, Mariam took the first bus to the city. At the station bus, she took a taxi and showed the taxi driver the bank address. On the way there, she told the driver about Sam and what a filial son he was. The driver stopped his taxi in front of a tall building. She got out of the taxi and smiled at him happily. This was the moment she was going to meet Sam. She imagined him showing surprise and delight at meeting his mother. Inside the building, a security guard asked her who she was looking for. She told the guard Sam's name. The bank staff saw an old lady holding a worn out handbag. They were wondering, Who is this woman? Why is she asking for our manager? Meanwhile, Sam pretended to not know his mother. Feeling disgusted and ashamed, he asked the security guard to ask her to leave. Mariam was shocked. She looked Sam in a disappointed feeling ever and ran out of the bank. Back in her house, Mariam cried the whole night. She cried till she had no more tears. The next morning, she was sitting by the window with Sam's photo on her lap. She saw him walking towards their house. Soon, she was shouting and crying, My son is back! My son is back! He ran towards her and hugged Mariam as he never let go. He was so sorry and regretted the way he behaved. His courageous were the one who made him realize his big mistake neglected his mother. The neighbors heard her. They too shouted and cheered, feeling happy for her. So, what do you think about the story? Do share your opinion with us. Thank you very much. <laughs>